What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the month four update. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I've seen all of your comments and I see a lot of people getting pretty antsy about the results. I just wanted to know that I do post these once every month around the 15th of the month. Now I'm posting this video a little early because uh, I decided to move the Phoenix. So I apologize if the lighting's gonna be a little different, but that's besides the point here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the month four progress. I'm at the end of month four right now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before I get a haircut, and I'm also gonna show you what it looks like after I get a haircut. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So if this happens to be the first video that you snapped into, uh, let's do a quick flashback into month one, two, and three to see how my progress has gone so far so you get a better picture of what's going on. Decided to shave my head and uh, get a brand new start because that's the day I started Minoxidil. Month one, this is month one, and basically what was happening here is uh, I was in the shedding phase. I'm this is the back of my head under this bright ass light. I'm gonna purposely turn on this bright ass light so that you can see all of my imperfections. And there they all are. Still okay, we're still going with the smooths. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way because I feel like this is the most brutal, honest way I can do it. So here we go. This is what we're looking at right now. Month three. I'm actually very satisfied with these results. This is what it looks like. There's hair on my freaking head. I can actually get a haircut at the barber now. I can ask for a fade and it actually looks effective. All right, you guys ready? The moment we've all been waiting for. Now, it's not perfect, but it's definitely improved. Here we go. You guys see it? Look at that. And look at the back. The back is still there. The back is still there, but I am now entering, I am now entering the phase where the circle actually starts closing because I've just hit the month four mark and this is all the shedding that I've experienced. Like I've been probably experiencing 15 to 20 hairs inside of that, inside of that little scalp massager. About 15 to 20 hairs every time I rub it on. It's very stressful. But all the hairs that are falling out, they're weak hairs, they're not strong hairs. So I know that whatever thinning is still going on over here, it's about to be crazy for the month five update. So stay tuned for that. I know what you're seeing. A lot of you might be really satisfied with these results. Some of you might say there's not much difference but honestly, like, it's a lot thicker than it was when I first started. I literally had no hair. Let's take a look at what it looks like from the back now. So this is what we're looking at in the back. This is without the light exposure. Okay, hope you guys can see that. And this is with the light exposure. You guys see that? With the light exposure. Now let's say I want to turn this off. Let's turn off the light. Look at that. Walk around the living room over here. Look at that. It's hair. It's all freaking hair. I had no hair. Remember that. Now I want to talk about a product that I started introducing a couple months ago. I didn't really want to talk about this product because I wasn't sure if it worked. But the reason why there was such a jump in massive results from month zero to like month one and month two is because of this product right here. Now hear me out, safflower oil. Now the reason why I bring this product up is because not a lot of people know about it. So a lot of you are saying you should combine finasteride with minoxidil and all that stuff. And I understand that the side effects for that are very minimal. Erectile dysfunction and like uh, some kind of hemo uh, hormonal deficiency that it causes over time. Now I'm not too educated on that, and I really think if I take it, I'll be fine. Most of you would be fine if you take it, but I decided to do a little bit of research and find another product that was an alpha-5 reductase inhibitor. And what I came across was an article for hair regrowth, and they found that safflower oil uh, had the most like potent formula like compared to finasteride. So the potency of the alpha-5 reductase inhibitor was equivalent to finasteride. So I decided to use that. I put it on my scalp one time a day. So this is how it works. I wake up in the morning, I put minoxidil on my hair. Cool. Let that sit for 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Sometimes I forget and I leave it on for like a few hours. 
But after that minoxidil is done and my hair starts feeling really dry, I go ahead and put this in my hair, which is the same thing that I used last time, the Biotin shampoo, it just comes in a different container now. And after I use this, I let it sit for five minutes, rinse it off my hair. After my hair is completely dry, I'll go ahead and put this oil on my hair. But the thing is, it's not really a hair loss product. It's not really marketed as such. So what you're gonna see is a lot of skincare, uh, a lot of like uh, mental health, like stuff like that related to this product. But I decided, F it, I'm just gonna put it in my head. So I started putting it on my head. I've been seeing some pretty massive results. So I got the alpha-5 reductase inhibitor under lock. I also have the minoxidil and I also have the DHT blocking uh, shampoo. Those are the three products I'm using. If you think that's too much and you don't want to do it and you're okay with a bald head, have a bald head. But if you want your hair back, put in the work for it. Just put in the work for it, be patient. I'm still patient. Now, I'm satisfied with what I have, but I'm not completely satisfied. So hopefully the month five is just an eruption of, of hair growth and month six and beyond. And I also want to make note that I will be in different lighting because I'll be in a different state. I'm gonna be in a very sunny state. So I'm moving from Michigan to Arizona. So the results might look a little skewed to the lighting, but I'm gonna to try, to uh, try to use the best lighting, the most comfortable lighting I can find over there. And you guys just use your judgment. Oh, by the way, I also wanted to make a comment. Uh, a couple of you weirdos are on the comment section saying I got a hair transplant. I don't know like if you went to like fucking stupid college or something, but that's not the case at all. I've actually been just using the products I'm talking about. It's very discouraging for the other people who are actually serious about getting their hair back. Just because you've had problems with this and you haven't seen the results from the same products I'm using doesn't mean you need to bring the whole world down with you. You know what I mean? So if you need something that uh, that's gonna grow your hair back or you wanna figure something out, don't do it by lashing out on the comment section. It does nothing for you but waste your time. Use that time on the internet to figure out what else you can do. Because for me personally, if this stuff stops working, I'm going straight to Turkey and getting a hair transplant. All right, without wasting any more time, I gotta make this haircut to show you guys what it looks like. Let's go. Guys, the camera malfunction. I was supposed to have a time-lapse video of my haircut. I was supposed to uh, have the closing of the video over there. I wanted to show you guys my barber. It's really dope. Really, really dope barber. That's what my haircut looks like. But I apologize, the time-lapse didn't go through. Camera malfunction in the middle of it. GoPro Hero 7 Black is probably the worst camera on the market. I highly recommend you do not buy that. But anyways, this is what my haircut looks like. So, that bad boy will close soon. I assure you, I will do everything in my power to close that. But if I cannot, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you made it all the way to the end, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Put your opinions in the comment section below. Everything I talk about in this video uh, related to products will be in the product description at the bottom of the video. I will have links directly to Amazon for those products. And if you have any questions and you genuinely want to reach out, just go ahead and follow my Instagram. I'm going to put that in the link below. And I hope you enjoyed that content. The next video will be around next month, around the 15th. Uh, I'm going to be updating from Phoenix, Arizona. So the lighting is going to be a little different. But listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that information I gave you, take care and go rogue.